Let's explore how to track inspection responses in analytics. Struggling to see how your teams are performing at a glance? The responses table shows you how questions are answered across a template. No spreadsheets needed. This chart gives you a complete view of inspection responses for a template, including flags, scoring, and trends, so you can focus on what matters most. You can instantly spot areas that consistently fail checks without looking through reports. With the question and response filter, you can zoom in on specific answers, including text responses, so you're not wasting time hunting for details. Let's add a responses table to a dashboard. Go to Analytics. Then create a dashboard. Or edit an existing one. Time to add a custom chart. Keep inspection selected as the data set. Then choose your metric. I'll use inspections. No need to select an attribute. The responses table sets it for you once you select it as the chart type. Then select the template to get a response breakdown. I'll use this store audit to see how each area of the store is performing. Finally, add a chart title. Then click Save Chart. Now let's review the data in the chart. First, I'll drag here for an expanded view. The table is organized by pages of the template with each section underneath. We can see the average score for each page and section across all inspections. Expand a section to see scores for individual questions. Click a question to see how each response impacts the score and how often each one is selected. For this question, no is selected 56% of the time. So over half of inspections find a problem with the arriving products. We can see this relates to three suppliers. Let's see which suppliers have the most products arriving in poor condition by applying a question and response filter. Click Add Filter and select Question and Response. Then search for the question you want and select your response. You can even select text answers now the chart only shows inspections where that response was selected. In this case, it only shows inspections where products arrived in poor condition. I've identified that supplier 1 and 3 are responsible for the majority of product issues, with defects occurring 34% of the time. This makes it clear where to focus next. You can also drill down into data by clicking on a response. Now I can see each flagged item related to the first supplier. With these insights, I can work together with the suppliers to make improvements when we receive products. And that's it. Now we've got a clear view of how this template is performing. No more looking through reports or spreadsheets. Just quick, actionable insights to help the team focus where it matters most. For help building dashboards and charts, search Create Analytics Dashboards in our Help Center. For this and more on analytics, head to help.safetyculture.com.